Hey there, how are you? Hope you're having a great day. I want to share a topic with you today that I think is one of the most key, pivotal topics that we could ever discuss if you want to have impact with this amazing company and this opportunity. I wanna to talk to you about the elephant in the room that comes with social sharing. It is in our humanity, Humanity 101, to be valued by other people. You have said, I see the value in these products for other people and you want to share that with them, right? But what I wanna to talk to you about today is the response that you have with the response that's not favorable when you want to help people. We cannot save everyone. I know, it's frustrating. There's gonna be so many people, people that you love the absolute most, people that you could see everything about their, their inability to be well and you know that you have the fix for them and they're not going to wanna to get well. And maybe even they say yes and then they don't get a result fast enough. Or maybe they say, I do see a need for those products, but I just can't afford them. Or maybe they say yes, but they don't get a fast enough result <laughs> based off a very high expectation level, especially with what our, pro our society is programmed to think and believe. Now, we know the truth, right? The truth is what sets us free. When you lay your head on the pillow at night, what do you know to be true? So if someone says to you, these products didn't work for me, is that true or is that false? Because if you know it's not true, you're good. You sleep. You know that you put it out there and you propose the idea for someone to get better or maybe more financially free. And if they're not open to that, if they're not truly ready for it, if the, if the student is not ready, the teacher is not appearing, how much... You don't have control over that, right? So ultimately, you rest knowing your truth is that what you know, and people can't take that from you, but you can give it to them. And what I mean by that is, if their response, or maybe 10 people's responses, or 20, or 100 people's responses, change the trajectory of your share, they've changed your truth they have now owned your truth. They now have complete control over your future because you've allowed their response to change the trajectory of the impact that we all know that you can have with this amazing opportunity. And I think it's the number one thing that if we tackle and we overcome it um, and those responses don't paralyze you and take your truth away from you, you will be unstoppable. You have to know how many times in the last six plus years I've heard, no, you're off your rocker, too expensive, didn't work, didn't work fast enough. Um, you have to know I've heard all those things, but you know what I've done differently? I just keep going forward, right? I am called to this. I am equipped to it. I will be victorious because I'm not going to let other people's responses change the trajectory of my family's future. I want you to know that six years ago when I signed up for this company, I did not know that six years later I would be standing in the bank lobby of an Australian bank getting my son's bank account set up to go to college in Australia. I did not know that. I knew that I was called to this. I knew that the products worked for me. I knew that they worked for other people. I knew I'd been to the number one nutrition school in the world that taught everything about what these products do. And I moved forward in that. No one, no thing changed my truth. And I kept being resolved in my pursuit to have the impact I know I have the opportunity to have. 
but I choose that impact. I choose to hear those responses and keep moving forward. It's the elephant in the room. We don't wanna to be told no. We don't wanna be disvalidated. That's not in our humanity. We wanna be loved. We want, we want people to say, thank you so much for introducing these products, but you're not going to always hear that. You have to know that and be okay with it, right? Even the people that you love the most probably won't ever see this for what you see it as and that can't be your your that can't be the reason why you're doing it I want you to also think bigger picture now for those of you there's some of you that are just here to get your products paid for and that's awesome I don't know how long that will sustain you with just that being your sole motive, but I want you to know we're here to support you. We want your products paid for, and that's what this opportunity is about. It's designed to be a blessing and not a burden, but I want you to know bigger picture. If you do believe that you're here for a bigger picture and you do want to have impact beyond having your products paid for, I want you to know you have to be fighting for something that has a lot of purpose in it. For example, um, a disaster relief big, big part of my heart. Um, I've been on several trips. It's this income that has funded those trips. People don't pay us to go and do those things. We do that out of our own resources. But I believe that I've been given this resource to go and do those things that I believe I'm called to do and have a heart to do, right? So that's a bigger picture thing. Um, I have put together a five-year, well, I have a one-year and a five-year plan. And then I also work off of 90-day goals basically 90 day plan so 90 day plan one year plan and a five year plan in my five year plan there are some very big big things that matter to me that I'm working toward um, one of those things that I want to do is I want to be able to purchase a home and be able to have it be a home of respite for someone that is in transition. Um, maybe they um, they got kicked out of their home and um, their new lease won't be available for, t for two months. I wanna be able to hand them keys and say, here's the home or here's the room in that house. Um, that matters to me. I wanna be able to say yes to every single disaster relief trip I wanna do. That matters to me and I don't ever want time freedom or financial freedom uh, or lack thereof to be the reason why I'm saying no to that. So those are just a, a few examples of the bigger picture things that I'm fighting for. What I didn't know six years ago, what I was fighting for with all the no's and objections and everything I got was the ability to financially help fund uh, my son to go to college, like a meaningful college that really truly matters to him and to us in an entirely another where it's super expensive to live and how all of that stuff so i want you to know that um when you're fighting for something bigger you're going to see past all those objections because it's not about getting your products paid for it's about the impact that you're having on this world and that's really what this opportunity means not only do these products help you get to the best version of you but you also get to think bigger picture on what it is that you're here for. What what kind of footprint can you leave um, in this world? And let me just tell you, perseverance produces character. And easy is sleazy. And if you're looking for easy, <laughs> this is not. We do things that truly matter. And that means it's going to be difficult. It, it means it's going to be hard. You're going to have to hear a lot of difficult things that you really don't want to hear and, and, and see and experience just because we simply want the best for other people, but people don't always want the best for them. You don't have control over that, you don't. And so you have to be willing to bigger picture be working for something that truly does matter. So you have to have a, a plan. What is it that you're here for? What's your bigger picture? What are you called to do um, beyond getting your products paid for? Something else that I was um, encouraged with last weekend when we were given that opportunity by the Lexus dealership to go on that amazing bucket list trip that we had, we had no idea where we were going, what we were doing, anything. We showed up, they opened up the doors of our car and they go, get out. And we're like, what? And they took all of our stuff out of our car, put it in another car, drove us to this magical tree house in the woods. And it was the most amazing weekend. And I was and, and in this process, I'm like, why, why? Is this happening to me why am I getting this kind of experience um, and at the end I had to sign the bill even though it wasn't on me I had still had to sign the bill it was a $5,000 trip $5,000 that's what it cost us to be at that place for 48 hours 
and God showed me this is the reward for your perseverance that developed character that gave you the resolve to do hard things and this is the kind of thing that happens in your life as a reward for you willing to do hard things and I was like wow this is so amazing um, and I think there's a difference between a reward and a blessing. I believe that God, when we, um, when that perseverance that develops character, when we're willing to do hard things and not easy sleazy, um, he rewards us. He gives us things that are like, bless our socks off, bigger than we can ever picture or imagine. And it's just crazy to think that it's, it's for anybody. Like, I'm not any different. You know what I do? I say yes every day. I just get up and I keep saying yes. I keep reaching out to people. People tell me no. They tell me I'm off my rocker and they tell me products don't work. I hear all the same things that you do. You know, the di I just keep going forward. There is reward in perseverance, which develops character, which produces blessing. So hopefully <laughs> that little pep talk will encourage you um, that when you do hard things, which means pursuing through things even though you're not getting the, the value and the response that you want, that eventually it will fall on the ears that truly will benefit, will be grateful for it, and they will be resolved in it to forever steward and value their health. And then, oh my gosh, even bigger picture, if they can think outside themselves and say, I'm not going to be selfish with this amazing gift of healing I've been giving. I want to go get out there and help as many people as I can feel better. That's really where I operate out of daily, out of faith, not knowing, not knowing. I mean, that's true faith, not knowing what you're fighting for. I've seen this opportunity unfold in blessings for people monetarily, um, the satisfaction level that we are given for like doing things that are super, super valuable in life. Um, but the satisfaction and how people are provided even when they don't know what they're fighting for, right? Like we've had people that have lost their spouse, their parents, um, had major tragic things happen and how this opportunity has sustained them financially. They didn't know when they signed that uh, 26 page agreement <laughs> uh, of this health and happiness company, what truly would unfold and that thankfully we don't know everything. We're not omniscient, but we faith it. We trust and we walk in it every day and we're just continually given the gift of perseverance that's developing character which will end up in reward and result for truly truly things that matter most in life hopefully that helps you hope you're having a great day see you later